Gaston Glock, the reclusive engineer and tycoon, developed one of the world's best-selling handguns, died on Wednesday, December 27, 2023, at the age of 94. The Austrian won loyal followings among police and military across the world with the weapons that bore his name. Forbes estimated his and his family's worth being at over $1.1 billion in 2021. His rise began in the 1980s when the Austrian military was looking for a new innovative weapon. Up until then, the Glock company had made military knives and consumer goods, including curtain rods, but he assembled a team of firearms experts and came up with the Glock 17, a lightweight, semi-automatic gun largely made of plastic. The revolutionary design with a frame made of a high-strength nylon-based polymer and only the slide made of metal beat several other companies' blueprints and secured his upstart outfit of the contract. Soon, the easily assembled weapon became a global hit. Get yourself a Glock and lose that nickel-plated sissy pistol, Tommy Lee Jones said in the 1998 film U.S. Marshals. Many U.S. police officers used them, and U.S. rappers worked them into their rhymes, among them Snoop Dogg's Protocol and Wu-Tang's Clans to Glock. U.S. soldiers found toppled Iraq President Saddam Hussein hiding with a Glock in a hole in the ground in 2003. They later presented that weapon to the United States President, then George W. Bush. Gun control advocates have criticized Glock for popularizing powerful weapons that said were easy to conceal and could hold more ammunition than other guns. A former U.S. Marine combat veteran, armed with the police described as a 45 caliber Glock with a high-capacity magazine, killed 12 people in a bar in Towson, Oaks, California, in November of 2018. Glock himself rarely responded to criticism from activists, shunned public debate, and in 2000 refused to join other weapons manufacturers in signing a voluntary gun control deal with the United States government. He made few comments of any kind to the press, but the public got glimpses of a sometimes tumultuous private life through the courts. At the age of 70 in July of 1999, he survived an attempt on his life when an investment broker who managed his assets hired a former wrestler to attack him with a rubbed rubber hammer a court heard. Glock had grown suspicious of how the broker was managing his affairs and had flown to Luxembourg to confront him, lawyers said. He suffered several, several blows to the head, but fended off the assault. The broker, Charles Ewart, and the attacker, Jacques Pierre Scher, were both jailed. His 49-year-old marriage with Helga Glock ended in divorce in 2011, and the pair embarked on a lengthy legal battle over alimony. Soon after his marriage, his second wife, Catherine, more than 50 years his junior. He owned a lakefront mansion and a state-of-the-art equestrian sports center in the province of Corinthia, where celebrities showed up for parties. He is survived by his wife and a daughter and two sons. Hope you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more. As always, continue with the history and film. Catch you guys in the next video.